Hi guys, Portia here. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on the basic baby beanie. Now the thing is, I've been making this same basic beanie for years, especially for babies. This time I wanted to bling it out, add a little bit of swag to it. So this is my first time trying it like this. So I hope it works out. You guys will learn with me whether or not it works out right. But we will be using some yarn. This is some of my favorite yarn. It's nice and soft for baby. We are going to use some faux leather to embellish with a bow. I will be cutting this with my Cricut, but you can also cut it with the template and a pair of scissors as well. And then the last thing to bling it out is going to be some beads. So I'm taking this basic beanie from beginner to advanced beginner. Um, so it's pretty much gonna go from, that's nice to, you did that? So let's just jump right With in. our main color and size eight needles cast on 64 stitches. And I did divide that like uh, 16 stitches is on each needle. We're going to knit one and purl one for approximately one inch. Now, if you're not comfortable with double pointed needles, that's okay. Can you, you can still make the same pattern with straight needles. All you would do is sew the seam up in the back when, uh, when you're all done. But if you're ready to start double pointed needles, this is definitely a good project to do it on. Okay, so that one inch is done. So we got the base of the baby hat all complete. From here, what we're gonna do is move into the next section of the hat, which is going to be two rows or rather two rounds in the regular knit stitch. So we're gonna continue with our main color for two rounds in knit. All right, so we have that all done. Now we're ready to transition over to our color B. What we are gonna do uh, before we do that though is go ahead and get our beads together. We're gonna bead our needle. So make sure that the beads are able to slide down the needle easily and not break or anything like that. I had to learn the hard way. So these slid, slid down onto the yarn very easily with no difficulties. Now we go ahead and we're gonna attach color B and we're going to knit one round with color B. And just FYI, we did not cut color A. That's our carrier yarn, we need that. So for the second round of color B, we're going to knit three. And this is actually our bead round. So like I said, we're going to knit three. We pull up a bead. We're going to knit and pull the bead to the front of the work. And let me do that again. So again, this is the, we only do this for one round. Okay, so knit three. Pull up the bead. Knit and pull that bead through the front. And again, you continue that to all your beads are gone. And you can cut B because we're done with that. We only needed it for two rounds. From here, I like to secure our second yarn, so color B, um, because it creates a little bit of a gap. So I secure it with a, a loose knot and from there, what I'm gonna do later on is just weave it in the proper way. All right, so picking up uh, our main color, we are going to knit all the way around for approximately three and a quarter inches. The finished size of this actual hat is approximately, the width is six and a quarter, 
and the height is five and a half. So it's for a baby, I guess you could say about three months. It really depends on the, the baby's head, but I would say about three months. So yeah, I think right here we're at about three and a quarter. It does not have to be precise, but looks good to me. So now that we've done our rounds in pretty much the straight area, we are now going to move into our decrease rounds. So what that looks like for the first decrease round is knit six, knit two together. We go all the way around. In the second decrease round, we're going to knit all the way around. And you can pause it here to leave the instructions up, but we're going to continue to knit one round, decrease another round until we have eight stitches left on our needle. All right, there goes our eight stitches all done. So we can cut our main color. And now it's time to go ahead and weave in all of our ends. And of course, this represents that we are almost home free. It's not my favorite part to do, but it's a necessary. And then sometimes I do like to use a crochet hook to kind of pull the, um, the yarn through a little bit easier and make a smoother finish as far as no lumps. So there you have it guys. That part is all done. This is part one. Remember I said with the Cricut, I'm gonna be making a bow to further embellish this. So if you got any questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, please let me know. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe and stay tuned for the next video. Until next time, peace.